Hey, what's up? It's your girl Melissa Ford, and you are checking out Pow TV. There's a there's like a big rumor on Twitter and everything, and all over the uh, internet that you're a Miami Heat fan. You wanna? Dude, that's a lie. <laughs> that is such a lie. You're just you're just trying to get me yeah. excited because that's <laughs> the furthest thing from the truth. Sorry, Miami Heat fans. I'm sorry, but no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I was I was really happy for the Mavs winning. Very happy. So you're a Dallas Mavericks fan. I wouldn't go that far and say <laughs> that. I would just say that I thought that it was. Um, I really thought that I was really happy for Dirk. You know, because he was he's been kicked around the league for 13 years, you know, and he did what most people wouldn't do. He stuck it out with the team that he started with. He was on the Dallas Mavericks for 13 years and he had to deal with, you know, a lot of like rumor innuendo, just the, op the opinions that he just wasn't a championship player, that he couldn't follow through. He just, you know, he was, he was soft that Mark Cuban had to, you know, come to his defense whenever people were talking mess about him. And really at the end of the day was he proved that, you know, through action rather than defending himself. You know, there's a lot of players, I'm not gonna say any names, that really have a hard time dealing with criticism. You know, they hold press conferences and then just, you know, they kind of bitch out and shit. It's just kind of take the criticism and understand that you might have done something to deserve it. BET Awards are coming up and uh, on June 24th, there's Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 the poor baby. The poor baby. On June 24th, I'm sorry. In, in LA, um, at the Trina Turk Boutique, um, I'm going to be the uh, MC and the ambassador of an event that's called The House That Hip Hop Built, and we are honoring um, a few ladies. Uh, Moni Love and um, Cynthia Horner, who's the editor of Hip Hop Weekly, and uh, basically, you know, um, without even explaining it, they're trailblazing women in the in the um, urban industry, um, urban entertainment industry, and uh, the proceeds of the event go to raise awareness for victims of uh, sex trafficking, specifically domestic sex trafficking, and. Um, you know, all the proceeds go to Shoe Revolt. So I encourage everybody to log on to shoerevolt.com just to check out the site and see what their mission statement is and what they hope to do. But just to kind of um, give you an idea, they basically take all the proceeds you know, the, from donations of new and gently wear used shoes and uh, sell them on the site and the proceeds go towards placing rescued victims um, from sex, tra sex trafficking into housing, um, giving them uh, new educational uh, opportunities and scholarships, and also, you know, giving them the proper recovery that they need.